Well, I've had some people asking if there's gonna be some snowmobile content and there will be. Right now I have three customer sleds I need to get done. The first one's gonna be the Idacat over here. This has been here the longest. This is a 1975, I believe it is. Could be a 76, might be a late model, but I believe it's a 1975 Idacat Jag 2000. Go ahead and open up the hood here. This has got the free air Suzuki 275 twin cylinder engine in it. And she actually runs really nice. The only thing this came in for, well, I got to fix this fuel pump, maybe uh, do some new fuel lines. The only thing it came in for is a new set of high facts. So that's actually going to be a pretty quick job I'll be doing in the next couple of days. Let's fire it up. You can listen to it. She runs really nice. I need to choke it. Uh, next one we got right here is a is a 2003 Skidoo MXZX 440 with a 600 swap. Go ahead and open this up for you. Not sure what pipes they do have on it. Uh, no, no name. <laughs> I don't know what kind of pipes they do have, but dual pipes, obviously. That thing is clean in there. I don't know if that was a brand new engine. C600 modified, V Force reeds. Fire this bad Jackson up. This one just came in just for kind of a little service checkup, make sure everything was good. And the primer doesn't seem to work all that great. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna put a new one in there, check the lines. We'll check the lines first, but. <laughs> Blooded too, so might have to go through the carburetors on this one. This thing is loud though when she's running. Yeah, and then this one came in. This is a 2015 Skidoo Renegade X with 800 RE tech in it. As you can see, it needs a new bumper. So I'm just doing that. And then I guess when he rolled it, the electric start does not work anymore. So we got to figure out what's going on with that. Could be just a switch. Uh, I'm not sure. I got to look at that. This thing is a very nice sled. Love these colors on this thing. This also has a pipe on it. <laughs> Not exactly sure what this one. This is a uh, Jaws pipe. Just a slip on the head pipe stock. But yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Electric, your pull cords underneath it there, but this thing fires up good. Pulls mean, but it fires good. Ooh, yeah. This thing's a little on the loud side, but nothing compared to that thing. That thing is just really loud. These ones tell you, these ones have the warm up gauge on them. So let that warm up before we take that for a little spin. <laughs> Thing's actually pretty quiet until you get it above 7,000 RPMs, then she's got a bike to her. 
And this one over here, I'm gonna be running this this winter, but this one definitely needs track. This is a 2015 Skidoo Renegade 900 Ace Adrenaline. So it's kind of the plain package. But if you look at the track, definitely got some pull throughs right there. And I wouldn't take it too long. Yeah, actually it's got three pull throughs in a row right there. This is a good runner. This is this is very quiet compared to all of them sleds. <laughs> Electric start only on these. Uh, this sled's got uh, 14,202 miles on it. Not sure on the hour situation. 43 hours, but that's a trip hour, so I'd have to plug it in to see the actual hours. You might as well take that for a little spin too. There's no wheel in with the 908. This just got dropped off while I was in the middle of doing this video here. Uh, this is a 2019 Can-Am Renegade XXC. Uh, it's got a no start issue so we gotta figure out what's going on with that i know i said i was talking about snow machines today but might as well do this while it's in the driveway um as you can see now i started this up and drove it off his trailer drove ahead a little bit put it in neutral let it idle it idled for probably a minute and it shut right down so i don't know what's going on with this one and it's been sitting here for probably 30 minutes or so and it doesn't even try to start and he said it won't until it sat for quite a while. It's too bad too, because he bought that machine, bought it used, but paid 10 grand for it, drove it 30 miles and that happened. So he hasn't even had a good ride with this thing yet. Now this is my sled, but this is another sled I'll be working on here fairly soon. Well, when I get caught up on all my customers' rigs, this is a 98, I think, 96, somewhere in there, Arctic Cat, Thundercat 900 triple. Took that thing in trade, so I don't know a lot about it, but I was told it runs good. It's got a nice track under it, so. We're gonna be working on that as well. Now I bought these sleds as a package. This this is an Articat ZL600 EFI, no engine. I mainly bought it for this. I, I don't know, I paid pretty, ch I got these pretty cheap, 250 bucks, maybe 300 bucks, something like that. This is an Articat Cougar 500, fan cooled with reverse. That one's either an 87 or an 88, but it's in pretty good shape. It's got compression. Um, there's no coil on it, so I think it's just got to fire an issue. And then, of course, my graveyard of four-wheelers here. That's that. Like I said, you'll be seeing repair videos soon. Now, what I'm working on in the shop right now is a 2002 Polaris Sportsman 500 6x6. As you can see, I got it a little torn down right now. Basically, what was going on with this one, this one mainly came in because the all-wheel drive wasn't working, but I'm going to be getting to that. Now, I also do short-form content on some other platforms, and if you see me post vertical content on here, it's because it was videos I did for the short form content. Like this one, I did, I already did a transmission job on this. Uh, I'm doing this, but this was for short form. It's probably going to be all the videos together. If I combine them all, it's probably going to be 20 minutes or so. I understand you guys hate vertical videos. It doesn't work as good on YouTube, but let me know if you want me to splice all those videos together and I'll post this one. If not, that's fine. Somebody on here said, if you keep posting vertical content, I will unsubscribe from your channel. You know what? That didn't, that left a bad taste in my mouth. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you guys watch this for free. I put the videos up there. I understand it's the wrong format for YouTube, but why not if i have that footage would you rather not see it at all let me know what you think because i will post that if you guys want it if a lot of you say no then no problem i gotta finish this polaris sportsman 800 efi up as well this had a fuel pump uh, the fuel pump was working okay but it's what it's doing is not showing the fuel gauge is not working right and this is definitely gonna tick in the motor we're not worrying about that right now. It sounds a little louder in the garage. When you're outside, it doesn't quite sound so bad, but I think what it is is piston slap. And it seems like piston slap's kind of common on those Sportsman 800s. they last forever, usually, but uh, they're just a little noisy. But what was going on with that fuel gauge is the float is not floating anymore, basically. So if I pulled the fuel pump out, connected it, lifted that float up, the fuel gauge would work. 
Um, I tried floating it in water and it floated fine. And I said, what's going on here? So I floated it in a bucket of gas and guess what? It stayed right on the bottom. So you cannot check those things in water. You gotta actually check them in gasoline. I bought a new float for it. Gonna put that on there and get this thing out the door. A little bit of a service to this oil change and a little front end work and then she's gone. Yeah, like I said, I got a whole transmission rebuild video right now, uh, but it's vertical content. And I'm gonna be working on the front end here. The all-wheel drive's not kicking in. But once again, I started this on the short form. It's gonna stay that way. But if you guys wanna see it, I'll post it. I've been on YouTube for at least a few years now, doing a little bit of stuff, and it's grown slowly. But when I started posting on the short form stuff, it just took right off. And I've gotten a lot of jobs from that. So that's why I'm still going with that. Obviously, I'd rather be over here. I like the longer videos better. I feel I can explain stuff a little bit more, a little more in detail anyways on the longer videos. This one right here is because I was posting on short form. Same thing with the other one. These ones aren't very far from me, 30, 40 minutes away. But that Can-Am Renegade XXC out there, the owner of that saw me on one of my videos and he drove all the way up from Connecticut. I'm at the top of Vermont in Island Pond, Vermont. So he drove at least four hours in this snowstorm uh, that we're having right now. So hopefully he has a good trip back. It just goes to show you, it's still worth me posting on that short form.